The Youth, Youth Workforce Professional of the Year Award recognizes someone with exceptional behind-the-scenes customer service that pushes past internal silos to link teams and accomplish project goals within an organization. This year's award winner does just that. This past summer was one like no other, and workforce professionals around the country had to figure out how to run programs amid a global pandemic. Lisa led the development of their virtual summer jobs program and created a foundation for a year-round program. I am proud to introduce the 2020 Youth Professional of the Year Award winner, Lisa Dunaway, and her team at Anne Arundel Workforce Development Corporation. Thank you, Melissa. Um, I just actually want to thank you for this award. Um, I am deeply honored. It was definitely not expected. Uh, COVID-19 definitely um, was unfamiliar territory for us, and we had to rethink how we were going to provide services for our summer program. We were in the middle of planning when it all hit, so we had to kind of still plan, continue on with those plans, but um, we had to really start thinking outside the box and come up with an idea and I was blessed, or I am blessed, with the team that um, is very knowledgeable and um, very engaged in our program and in, into our programming. So they definitely um, were the backbone. And without them, we would not have been so successful. Um, because the pandemic hit when it hit, we did, like I said, have to rethink everything. And uh, we started with um, I lost myself, I'm sorry. Uh, we started with creating a focus that was a program that was focused on um, the top five industries in our county. Um, this program really centered on um, intensive career exploration, a lot of self-directed activities. We did a lot of activities um, through Zoom uh, with um, partner agencies. We had financial literacy partners coming in. We had, of course, guest speakers from different industries visiting us. We partnered with our business solutions team to and our industry um, talent consultants to um, introduce the specific industries and provide overview sessions with the participants. And while we were doing all of this, we, um, the staff, the case managers and monitors worked closely with providing um, that one-on-one -on -one mentoring and case management assistance as well. It was definitely different because we did not go on work sites. We did everything virtually, but um, all of the participants really were engaged. And um, we started with 100 and ended with 95. So um, we really were able to keep them motivated. And at the end, they all submitted capstones, which recapped like capstone projects that re recapped their experiences, what they um, got out of it, what could possibly be changed. We also, they also got to walk away with their um, job search documents. So resumes, um, they had their interview um, tips and techniques practice and all that good stuff. Um, their, their increased job searching skills and everything like that. Uh, this enabled us then now because of our in-school program, we do have a, a curriculum that we work with them in school on. And because it's virtual, we were able to smoothly transition that into um, the curriculum, into the, the platform of that program. And also our out of school youth program we're gonna be doing, and we have been actually doing that um, this fall. And we provide a job searching, not, I'm sorry, job exploration, a virtual program on a monthly basis for them to go through. So this definitely, um, I look at COVID as a blessing because it's allowed us now to reach our participants in a way that never was possible before. Awesome. Thank you so much for the work that you and your team have done. Um, again, it was it's no small task to run a youth program in the first place, um, but to do what you guys were able to do amid the pandemic is just amazing. So it's our privilege to recognize you and your team. Thank you again. Thank you.